What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today is Monday, July 11th. We are going to the office today. Full day at work today. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like going into the office, getting every meal in. I have a high carb day because today is a chest day. I'm trying to grow my chest, so I'm focusing on getting all the extra food in on Mondays and Fridays when I'm training chest. So I'm gonna get all those meals in today, show you guys kind of like what my day looks like and then crush some chest later. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys at the office. Guys, end of the day, we are walking home. Uh, well, we're walking to the car so we can go home. It's a little bit lighter uh, of traffic at the end of the day on a Monday or a Friday in the summer, just because there's not a lot of people who go in and out of the city. Typically, if they can work from home, they will on Mondays and Fridays. So it's gonna be a lighter day heading home. Ate my meal an hour before I expect to train. So hopefully we have a light commute back. Damn, I'm overexposed. Otherwise, we gotta get to the gym in the next 45 minutes. So I know. see me all right guys so we just pulled up to the gym and we are about to hit this chest workout during every single training session I am having 50 grams of carbs from a carb powder this is Nutribio's super carb it's a cluster oh, say that fast it's a cluster dextrin mix so I get 50 grams of carbs from here so two scoops and then I mix it with this EAA powder from Anova farm the Sun is absolutely brutal for this shot so Mixing it into a gallon of water, drinking this the entire way through the session. So we're about to go hit this chest session. Did I just hit chest two days ago? Yes. Is that optimal? No. Do I care? Absolutely not. Let's get the session. Appreciate your sound, need to bring the patient. If you could hear the atrocities of beats going on in my head right now, you'd be like, whoa. I'm not gonna lie, the mic wasn't on for the last thing. That's fine. I realized last second. It's alright. But I just restarted and put it on. Let me look today, all right? I did just eat 400 grams of carbs. So. I had five guys. Handshake on that one. Good job, pal. I shit myself, pal. Alright. <laughs> Please put that in the video. I'm not lying. <laughs> yep. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight Ricky Bobby. No, I got it. You know, it was Yo, my ass was on the best, right? Yep. 
Yeah, buddy. Is that my sweat? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. You put me on blast like that? It means you're working. I'm actually trying to have no neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to have 32 inch length shirts and then have to order like special like 22 inch necks. You know what I mean? Did you buy that Alpine shirt, the one that I have that has Alpine across it? Or no? no, I didn't buy that one. The collar's like fucking house the shit out of your neck. Yeah. So imagine like being massive and literally having no neck. The collar would be like up to your chin. You would Callum Von Moger that and just cut the neck off like her <laughs> neck. Is it you or Dre? It's me. The bro, fuck you just... Bro, SZA? To the left! See, now you got me, now I'm gonna play Frank Ocean. I'm gonna put... Nah. Crazy. You see? Nah, 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 nah. You around me. Alright, so like, not a bad song, right? But... Not shit for the gym. Maybe when you're depressed driving home from the gym because you realize that like there's only excitement in the day. I mean that's me. Oh shit. My bad. <laughs> it's the wrong L. Not for the lift, it's for love. Come here. What's up, bro? Yeah. The other day, I was fucking working out and Dre was playing the saddest shit. I was on the stairs, but I literally got down on one knee and started crying. Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back from the gym, and I just want to wrap up the video here just showing you exactly what I do every single night when I come back from the gym. So I have my bowl of chicken and rice here. I have my bowl of pineapple here. That is my post-workout meal. Now, what I'm also doing is setting up my next day. So if you see here, I have my second meal of the day, which I will eat at the office. It'll be the first meal I have out of the house because I will eat my first meal of the day fresh in the morning cooked right on the stove here right before I leave the house. Second meal, third meal, fourth meal. They're all already prepped. The only thing I have to do is cook this egg in the morning right when I'm making meal one. So that way I have it cooked fresh in the morning. It'll go in the Tupperware. I'll wait till it's cold while I'm making the rest of my food and eating breakfast. And then that'll be cold, room temperature, whatever. And it'll go in the Tupperware and it'll go in my bag. I got these holy guacamole avocado cups. These are really good for keeping fresh avocado that you can use as a fat source for your meals. And then I also have this bag of cashews. I keep a thing of cashews at the office, so that way I don't have to really think about that part because I don't like it in the chicken and rice. It's my fat source for that meal, but it doesn't necessarily need to go in the meal. So I have it right at the end of the meal and I already have it at the office. I try to keep that and most fat sources already at the office because they typically don't travel that well or they don't go directly in the meal. And then that way I can keep things mostly fresh. I also have my cream of rice which is already pre-made. It is cooling right now. It'll go in the refrigerator tonight and it will come with me to the office tomorrow so that way I can eat it as the last thing I eat as I'm leaving the office like you saw earlier today. The thing about staying consistent, no matter what your routine is, no matter what your job is, is being prepared for the next day or being prepared days in advance for the following days. And if you're doing that, setting yourself up for success. And if you're not doing that, you're setting yourself up to be either failing or really, really struggling to be on track. Guys, if you are entering a sector or industry of work that is going to be very taxing on your time, on your life, and you're trying to keep your nutrition, your training, your fitness, you're just trying to keep a level of health that's respectable, that makes you feel good, and allows you to continue to operate at a high level, you need to be prepared. So that's why I wanna show you guys what a day in my life looks like working in the office, training like I'm training, and eating the way I'm eating. I'm not gonna tell you how many calories I'm eating, because quite frankly, it doesn't really freaking matter. And you guys have your own diets, nutrition needs, and I'm not gonna tell you what my calories are for this, where I'm at right now, what I'm doing with my diet, because for the purposes of the video, it doesn't matter. Do what you're doing for your goals, follow your plan, be a dog.
the dog mentality. It doesn't matter how many calories you're eating. If a coach tells you what you're eating, you're eating it. If you trust them to tell you what you're supposed to be eating, just follow what they're telling you. So that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful for some of you. If you have any questions, please drop it down below. If you have helpful tips, please also drop those down below. I will pin anyone that looks like it, it could help somebody. And if you learned anything from this video, please like the video, share it with a friend that this could be helpful for. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I appreciate you guys. Keep making your daily deposits. Get that compound interest. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.